All right, good evening. Uh, tonight we're just climbing out of Bruton, Minnesota, and I'm heading back to Wilmer. And I'm actually going to show you how I do an approach and how the GNX-375 with the G5 and, and my setup work. So right now I'm flying on the G5, and I'm actually on the heading bug. Uh, my my Piper Auto Control 3, I've got the heading. Like the bug on here, so left so left down, like you can Rewind. see, if I turn my heading to 175, you can probably see the plane corrected for that. So right now, I, like, let's go direct to Wilmer. So let's go direct, go nearest, and let's uh, scroll through. Let's say Wilmer, let's say activate, right? So it paints a line, as you can see. The Bluetooth feeds it over to the Air 660, and the course comes up here on the G5. Now, I go over, I go over to the, the GPS steering, and when I select it, you'll see now the plane automatically turns and follows the, the GPS track on the G5. Um, it's actually overriding the, the heading mode on here and going straight to the, the GPS here. So now I actually don't want to fly straight to the field. I would like to fly an approach. So how I typically do that is uh, you cannot pull that up on the GNX 375. Uh, you cannot go home. You can't go to waypoints, airports, and select the, the charts. So what I like to do is go home, keep it on my GPS, and uh, I actually like to do this. I go back on the Air 660. I go waypoints. I select Wilmer. Oops, excuse me. Cancel. I go Wilmer. And over here on the right, I can pull up charts. So right now, charts, I would like to do the RNAV for runway 13, a GPS RNAV. So there it is. And it's in night mode. So I expand the chart. There's my chart. And I actually would like to fly the approach to, to BZ. That's what I'm going to do tonight. So air traffic, word, number four, six, what I do four, is I come over here four miles to the west, on the GNX-375, I select home, I go procedure, I want to do an approach, and it already fills in my, my Wilmer, my BDH approach, and I want to select the approach, I say RNAV for runway 13, I want a vector to easy. Fly the course reversal at VZ. Yes, I'd like to fly the course reversal, and I want to activate the approach. And now, as you can see, the G5 changed. Uh, the the plane is actually miles to the west and bound for landing on three three. All right, stay back here. So it's actually now on the GPS course. And it's got me turned, set up to go direct there. I go back to the G5, or I go back to my 660, and you can see I'm on the chart. I can go home, maps. I can pan out and see, okay, it's going to fly me to BZ, and I'll fly the approach. So when we get to the approach, I'll take you through that. Okay, now you can see that I am 2.2 uh, nautical miles out from the initial approach fix uh, BZ on the GNX 375. And on the, the G5, it also shows uh, the information there as well. And uh, I'm actually going to go and set my brightness up just a little bit. Um, so 1.5 nautical miles, 1.4 because we're actually going down. And uh, same thing when I select over to the, the PFD. Uh, now I just got an alert that says I'm coming within a mile of the fix. And you can see all the information there, but I'm going to leave it on the HSI for right now so we can watch that. But now we're, uh, now you can see it's saying hold direct in 0.5. And what's cool about the GNX 375 is you'll see I'll get a countdown 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 5 is also flashing waypoint. And now it's going to turn me. Uh, 
So one more trap base on the key three mile final for runway three one one go. Gives me the countdown one's gonna turn. Three, two, one. There we get the turn. Now they'll take me out on the out leg. It already switched. So now it's got me doing the out, down, outbound leg, and as you can see, it's uh, crabbing for the, the little bit of wind correction. Uh, on the 660, it's on the approach plate, got me geo-referenced, and it, it's already turned my, my course on the G5 HSI. And I'll show you once we reach the fix how the, the LPV, the, the vertical guidance, uh, populates. So it's pretty cool. I just basically sit back and monitor my altitude because the, the wing leveler Dr. Uh, Cherokee 5670 uh, wing leveler is doing pretty much everything else so just gotta monitor it makes flying the approaches much easier okay what I love about flying with uh, the LPV approach the GNX 375 and the geo reference charts is uh, as you can see here I can toggle out and you can see BZ is my initial approach fix then low pow low pow is my decision so if I go over to the chart, you can see I have low pow, and I go over to my uh, geo-referenced approach plate. At low pow, I hit 2,500 feet, then I got to be on uh, the vertical approach um, for the RNAV 1-3. So it's really simple. It gives me a countdown. So in between BZ and low pow, I like to reduce my manifold pressure to 18 inches and get set up for my landing configuration. So when I hit that... Um, that uh, low pow fix, I can drop my gear and get on a get on a, about a 500. Uh, 25 contact me up approach one. 500 uh, minute four descent. Cardinal four five. Uh, oh, you see visual just popped up on here. Right now I'm reducing my manifold pressure to 18 inches. Bring a little bit of back pressure to keep me at 2800. So now, as you can see, I'm about two nautical miles from low pow. I have now slowed the aircraft down to uh, 110. And I'm losing just a little bit of altitude, but I'll gain that back here. And now I got the 660 says I'm on the VNAV profile, and this will pop up in a second, telling me to, that I've reached uh, low power. So now the vertical guidance is coming in. Here it is. So seven, five, four, three, two, one. I'm at 100. I drop my gear, pitch the nose down. Gears down, one, two, three. I stay at my 500. Now I got a 500 descent approaching VNAV profile. So as long as I stay right on the vertical guidance profile and my descent, right now I'm still on the autopilot and I'm you know, maintaining about a, 100 miles per hour on my descent here. And I'm staying right on the profile. About 400 feet a minute is what I'm going down at. So, gear is down. Let's do uh, landing lights on. And once we get a little closer, once I hear 500, I'll put my fuel pump and everything on. 500. There's my 500. We'll prop full cycle. Gear is down. Autopilot is off. Still at 100, which is great. Boost pump, prop is full cycle, prop gear. Check, check, check. Oh, second notch of flaps. Trimming us back. Coming in at 
90, 85, 80. There's our numbers. Do you want to go miss? No, I do not. I'm going to set her down. So, firm on arrival. That is an LPV approach with the GNX 375 and the G5.